In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make this system where if you're AFK for more than 20 minutes, you will be teleported into a new server like you are seeing here. So to actually set this system up, we have a local script in starter player scripts called auto rejoin. In server script service, we have auto rejoin and another thing called soft shutdown. This script is a system already made by someone called Cyan and the description to get this will be in the description. Using this tied together with the other system I have makes this work. And then one final thing is the remote event called teleport and replicated storage to send our information from the client to the server to actually teleport our character. In your auto rejoin local script, we can start off by getting some variables. So the first thing we're going to get is the player's service. And then some player, character, and humanoid variables. Just like this. And then the final thing we're going to get is the remote event and our replicated storage. And there we go. So how we actually keep track of the time in our game is by using something called os.time. So we're going to make a variable with os.time since... Uh, we're going to call it time since last move. I'm not the greatest at naming things, but this is how we're going to keep track of since the last time we have moved, which will be os.time. And now we need to check when the humanoid runs or jumps, sits down, stuff like that, so we can reset the time. And if you guys know, we have some events like humanoid.running and humanoid.jumping, seated, all those things. And to help speed up this process i'm going to type check humanoid as a humanoid just to speed it up so now down here when we say humanoid we now have all these and we can type in running and then we're going to say connect function and we can have a speed and using this speed we're going to check if we are actually walking so speed if speed is greater than or equal to 0 0.01 then we're going to set the time since we last moved equal to the new os.time we can do the same thing with humanoid.seated. We can get the seated or an active boolean and check if we are actually seated. So if seated, then do the same thing, set time since last move. And then I'm going to do it once more with humanoid.jumping. So humanoid.jumping, connect, function, and then there's that same active boolean and we're going to say jumped and then check if we jump so if jumped then once again set time since last moved and then to constantly check our time we're going to say while character dot parents do and then we are going to get the current time which will be a new os dot time and then just to look at our time, we're going to print the current time minus the time since we last moved. And then we are going to subtract these by saying if current time minus time since last move is greater than or equal to 20, which will be 20 seconds. I'll change this. Uh, this is just for an example. But when we do change this, we're not going to set it to the amount of seconds in 20 minutes. We're going to set it maybe about 30 seconds before 20 minutes so we can actually teleport the player before they disconnect. And we're going to say then and teleport fire server. And that is auto rejoin done for this local script. And heading over to the auto rejoin in our server script, we are going to get the teleport service and that same teleport remote event that is in our replicated storage. And then we're going to check when the teleport remote event was fired. So teleport, the on server event, connect function, and we automatically get the player from this, just like this. And then we're going to make a new pcall. So success result will be equal to a pcall and then function. And we are doing this because teleports can actually fail so we want to know that result when we're teleporting. And then we're going to return 
teleport service, teleport a sync, and then in here, this takes the place ID. Since we want to rejoin back in our game, we are just going to say game dot place ID, and then we can put in an array of players to teleport. And since we already have our player, we're going to put in a array and then a player. And we don't actually need any teleport options. And then we are going to check if it was not a success and we couldn't teleport. So we can do this by saying if not success, then we are going to warn to the output failed to teleport player. And then we can give that result. Now with this system combined with our soft shutdown code here, our system should now be working. And if you guys want to let me know any more ways we can check for when the player is moving or doing something somehow to reset the time, let me know so everyone else can add this to their code. But I here, I just have the humoid jumping, seated and running. And just to let you guys know, you can only teleport the player in an actual game and not in studio so that means you actually have to have a published game just to let you guys know so make sure your game is published and you click publish to roblox and guys i almost forgot to mention but in your local script your auto rejoin local script you want to put a task.wait one in here so roblox doesn't fry your computer and crash when you're trying to run this code keep this in mind so if you guys head into your game and check the output, you can see that there is numbers being printed to the output. And every time we jump, it resets the number. If we keep walking, it resets the number as well. And if we even were to sit down, it would also reset the number. So when this number gets to 20, we get moved to a new server like if we were to be AFK for almost 20 minutes. So we're going to let it go to 20. It's at 18. It's at 19 to hit 20. We're going back into a new server. This is a little bit choppy going into a new server like this, but you guys can fix this by using a loading screen. That would make things a lot more smoother. And as you can see, we're in a new server once again, and the timer resets. So now all we need to do is find a good time to actually make this work. So it's around 20 minutes. So since there are 1200 seconds in 20 minutes, we're going to subtract a few so we actually can teleport. And I think a good number is 1190, which is 10 seconds before the 20 minute mark. And so if you are not actually testing it, you can get rid of this print statement so it no longer prints in the output with all those numbers. So if you guys want to look more into the Soft Shutdown 2 system, once again, the first link in the description will be to the dev forum post going over all of it. And there's even a video going over it just in case you guys wanted a little bit more information on the system. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.